Okay, so things you like about your setup are the following. Club face is nice and squarely positioned behind the center of the ball. Club and ball are pretty much in the middle of your stance, and for an iron, it's perfect. The alignment of your feet, hips, and shoulders, for the most part, are lined up alongside the leading edge of the club face, so that's perfect, too. Uh, a couple little things, though. Stance is much too wide. Okay. And when your feet, you can see compared to striker, yeah. are outside yeah. the width of your shoulders, oh, yeah. it's going to restrict your ability to shift weight. Okay. So you're going to get all upper body oriented, can't yeah. use your legs. Okay. So I definitely want to keep that stance narrower. Even use a mirror at home to look mm -hmm. at it to get used to what being just inside shoulder width is, or move it out to shoulder width for the driver max, but not beyond that if you are there. Because everything else is pretty solid, right? Uh, even your spine angle. Mm -hmm. But notice as you go back, so the arms and hands tend to pull the club away from the ball. And as you continue back with your arms, the club gets set you know, over your back shoulder. Pretty good position there. But you can see how your legs spread apart at the mm -hmm. knees, right? Because we're too far apart with our, with our feet. So from the top of your swing, then you got to loop it back down, try to get your hip and knee out of the way and clear it, mm -hmm. and then drive on to your left side. And again, it's very restricting mm -hmm. as, as a result. Yeah. So, closer together with, uh, with your feet and just allow your shoulders to take that club back naturally and pivot more effectively to face your target in balance.